Hey guys, quick question. What if? What if you could do what you've always wanted to do? What if you really went for it? Would that make a difference in your life? Um, second question is what's stopping us from doing that? Is it a lack of confidence? Is it a fear of failure? Is it a fear of what other people may think? Is it not having the information to enable us to get where we are to where we want to go? Uh, there's a, a million and one reasons, guys. Um, and until we actually discover that and take that on board and, I guess, face our fears, then it's going to be very difficult for us to change. Um, but obviously, if we're in a position or we've got into a position where we are now as a result of our choices. Now, unless we obviously make some changes to those choices, we're going to continue to get the results that we've always got. So it's a case of making some small changes um, with our habits, with our routines to enable us to step out of our comfort zone, which is the key thing, having the courage to step out of our comfort zone, uh, to have a chance to get something different. Um, and, that's, and, and that's really the key thing. That's what it boils down to, guys. Having the courage to start um, and then putting a plan in place which enables us to address any sort of fears that we might have uh, any barriers that we might have and trying to find a way around that and put in a step-by-step -step action plan in place to get where we want to go. Whether that is to run a marathon, whether it's to lose five stone, you know, it can't be done overnight. Um, and what I try to do with the people that I work with is, is come up with a long-term plan to get us from A to B, but then to break that down into smaller steps. Because if we look at the big picture, sometimes it's too much for us to take in. Um, and that causes, causes us to, to, to fail, to fall down, or it becomes too much for us. But if we start to actually break that down in step-by-step -step, um, blocks, then it's easier for us to take in, to digest, and to work towards those mini goals, which then in turn will get us to the bigger goal. But we have to be prepared to make some changes we have to be prepared to face our fears um, and we have to be prepared to commit, you know, not just tomorrow or next week, but we're talking about lifestyle changes that we're going to continue to do for the rest of our lives, you know, to implement new healthier uh, goals, new healthier habits to enable us to get where we want to go long term. Um, and I guess my question to you is, is, you know, are we prepared to, to start that journey, for one, and realise that it's not going to be plain sailing. We are going to fall down from time to time. That's okay, but it's how we respond to that and how we move forward, how we pick ourselves up and then keep moving forward. You know, that's, that's how we can go on learning from our mistakes, um, bringing in some changes, making some little tweaks to enable us to get to our final goal. Um, it's okay to fail. It's how we respond and how we, cho how we choose to move forward. Um, making the choices, new healthier choices, implementing them, sticking to a plan, committing to a plan, focusing on that, having the support network around us with our family and friends who understand what we're trying to do and trying to move forward. And if we can begin to understand that and begin to get our head around that, then you know, it's, we're in for an exciting journey. And, you know, that's what I love about what I do, um, you know, helping people and seeing people change, make those changes, um, seeing their lives change literally um, as they're moving forward, um, seeing their achievements with the challenges that, that we set as we go along and getting them to where they want to go. Uh, as I said, guys, the, the question is, is, are you in a place where you are ready to commit to move forward? Are you ready to, to, to have the courage or do you have the courage to take that first step? If you do, fantastic. You're in for an exciting future. Um, and um, if you need a hand, you know, drop me a line um, and uh, we'll start putting a plan in place to, uh, to make these changes and, and set you on your journey. So um, anyway, have a, have a good weekend and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.